Hello, everybody. This is Claricia Mice coming to you live from Reese's Domain. And I am here to share with you the Daily Connect brought to you by the Women's Connection. Hi, Layla. I'm so glad that you are here. And I know where you're calling in from. I know where you're tuning in from down there in Florida. <laughs> make sure you make plenty of memories for the little ones down there because they may not remember unless you know you take pictures. Anyway, I'm really excited to join you all today. And do me a favor, share this, share this video out. That way others can join on because I think today's topic is really powerful. Um, oh yes, it's 90 degrees down there and sunny. Oh, well, I'm here in Virginia and I wish I could say the same thing, but it's not. I did go out and did my walk this morning. Uh, when I started my walk, it was not raining, but I had to kind of cut it short because it started off as a drizzle and got more and more and, you know, my phone, I had to stick it into my um, sweater to make sure it didn't get damaged from the, from the rain. Anyway, yes, today is Motivational Monday, and the Women's Connection is a special group of women from all around, all around the country and outside of the country, and we come to you every day at 1230 Eastern Standard Time to share a nugget or tip or something that can help you. Hi, Nikki, I'm glad you're here too. Thank you for joining. Well, the Women's Connection, a different woman every day comes and shares something that can impact your life, whether in your personal life, in your business, or whatever, something that can pick you up and get you going. And because today is Monday, Motivational Monday, I thought I'll bring you something to get you going. I've changed the topic like two times. I had something else. But um, this morning I decided that what I was going to share, I'm going to say that for another time. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about your purpose and your passion. Hi, Joan. I'm glad that you're here. Tell me where you're joining me from. Where are you tuning in from? And uh, do me a favor. Share this on out. Thank you, Layla, for sharing. And um, this is a special Daily Connect for me because I'm talking about purpose and passion. You know, life as, as children, when we grow up, when we're growing up, you know, you, they have dreams. I say they because I'm no longer a little child. But they have dreams about what they want to do in life. When I grow up, I'm going to be this. I'm going to do that. And, and it's just wonderful to have all those um, dreams. But somehow as we get older and then we get caught up in what's called a rat race, because a rat race is where you work. You're working hard for money so that you can pay bills, so that you can work some more. And it's just, you know, like a dog ever seen it chasing its tail, going around and around in circles. Well, life is meant to be lived, you know, to, to, to experience all the things that you really want to do in life. And for some of us, it's more than just one thing. And so for me, you know, as, as a child growing up, I always thought I want to be a teacher. And I did do that. But then sometimes in life, your things change. You know, you may um, lose a job or you may, you know, some of you lose a family member, a loved one. And it kind of thrusts you into where you have to reevaluate your life. What do I really want? Is what I'm doing making me happy? So being able to be passionate and purposeful, you have to really think about those things in your life that you want to do because everyone has a purpose. And no two people's purpose is exactly the same. There are things that you need to do that nobody else can do. So you need to find out what those things are. And so I was thinking, well, how would someone go about finding out their purpose? And these are just some things that I came up with. You know, as you're trying to think of what your purpose is, you might re have these reoccurring dreams. You go to sleep and you, you have this dream that comes over and over and over again. So there's something to dreams. You need, may, may need to stop and really think about what that is telling you. You may 
get excited when you talk about a specific topic, you know, you light up, you know, whenever you talk about that topic, you can go on talking about it and it's, it's not laborious. And, you know, and I think about Mondays, people don't want to get into their job or want to go to work because that job is not fulfilling their true purpose. So I, I brought all this to say that even if you're stuck in that rat race, you need to find a way to get out so you can fulfill your true purpose in life. You know, um, your purpose may be doing something with the environment, you know, doing something to preserve and protect the environment. Or your purpose may be, uh, I don't know what your purpose is, you know, you have to think about what you're doing and if what you're doing, is it really fulfilling you? Are you getting the most out of life? Are you impacting others? So you need to stop and think a little bit about that. If your job is not making you happy, if you have to psych yourself up, that's what I was going to talk about, you know, to getting ready for Monday. But if you have to do all these things to get going, that means you are not living your true purpose or your passion. Now, for me, it took me losing my mom. My mom, I lost her last December. Um, and then right on the heels of that, oh, my husband had two strokes. And so I was faced with possibly losing him. And so I, it forced me to put life into perspective and what really is important to me. So that brought about me finding out what my true purpose and what my passion is. And my purpose and passion is health. And it, it took seeing my mother as she was aging in that in not the best health, you know, it took me almost losing my husband to see what's really important to me. And so I thought, as I'm trying to inspire him, get him on the road to his health, I can inspire and help someone else too who wants more out of life. So being able to retire, that forced me to reevaluate myself and find out what my true purpose and my passion is. And um, there are other things that can happen. You know, like losing a loved one, which happened to me, retiring, almost losing my husband. You know, those things helped me to know what was important. So I don't know what your passion is. If you have a passion, something that you really want to do in life, jot it down uh, in the comments below. Uh, let me, let's look up here and see. Hi, Joe. I'm glad that you're here. Where are you joining me from? And I see also my sister is here. Hi, Cynthia. Uh, strong interest in specific activities. That's right. I was talking with my sister about that. And she mentioned to me that she loves fabric. She loves fabric, just touching something with fabric. She loves to sew. So I said, perhaps your passion might be something dealing with cloth, maybe making something. Um, you know, so I can't tell you what your passion is. You have to think about those things, those experiences in your life, whether um, reoccurring dreams, um, you know, getting excited about what someone tells you. Even sometimes if you lose a job, it helps you to like, refocus to find out what's important to you, losing a loved one and, of course, retirement. So now that I've retired, I am able to now, like, take the, the blinders or, yeah, I say blinders because, you know, you just tunnel vision. You're just focusing on this one thing. Now, I felt like I was able to remove those, um, you know, what horses have, you know, that, what do you call that thing? To keep them, well, I've removed it. And I can look now and appreciate and see all the different things that have interested me. And I can now pursue and do those things. And it, I, I feel like I'm happier. Um, gosh. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Design and creating. Yes, Cynthia. And Layla says, I am passionate about empowering women to change the next seven generations. That's right. Be impactful. What you do now can impact your lineage, your children, their children, building generational wealth. And there are different ways to do it. But I am just so happy to be able to share this with you today. Um, 
if you'd like to be a part of this awesome group of women, and I must tell you, this group has really done a lot to um, pull me out of a, a dark place where I had gone, um, you know, because things were just, you know, like everything's crumbling down on you. But I felt I was able to crawl out from under that turtle shell and be able to pursue my passion and my purpose. And my purpose here for you today is to help you to stop and evaluate what are you doing um, that would be fulfilling to you and as well as the people around you, to your family, and where you can make an impact on the world, your community, your neighborhood. So uh, let's see if I missed anybody on here. Hi, Sibo, I'm glad that you're here. And please tell me where you're tuning in from. Uh, let's lay to the, if money was no object, how would you spend your time? I thought about that too, you know, because money is just a tool. It's a vehicle towards something. It's not the end all be all. And a lot of us are chasing money and not being able to live. Live out your true purpose and your passion. All right, before I get carried away, I need to tell you this. The Women's Connection, like I said, it's a group of women who come together and we share a, a nugget or two that will inspire, motivate, empower some ourselves. And um, every Monday, it's Motivational Monday, which I'm doing today. Tuesday is Techie Tuesday. I'm a little kind of stay from that. <laughs> Wednesday is Wellness Wednesday. Thursday is uh, Thought Thursday. And Friday is Fulfillment Friday. If you'd love to be a part of this group, this awesome group that can change your life and impact the lives of others, be sure to click on the link. I'm going to have a link there where you can join this group. It's done so much to empower my life and change the direction of where I was going. So I want to say thank you for joining me today. Another lady will come on tomorrow to share with you some uh, in tips or things that can impact your life. Hi, Alicia. Uh, my cousin's here. Welcome. Welcome aboard. I'm glad that you're here. Sorry, I've just come to the end of it, but you can catch the replay. And for those of you who are catching the replay, if you haven't shared this out, please share it out because it can do something to uh, impact some others their lives and help them to change the trajectory and do what they were meant to do. Thank you again for joining me and I will see you at the next Facebook Live. Bye now.